Now I want to talk about convex optimization. Let us assume that we have a function shown here and using the gradient descent method we want to find x which makes this function minimal. This is our initial guess for this optimal x. And using gradient descent with a proper step size you may reach this point. The problem is that this minimum is not global minimum. And this minimum is actually called a local minimum. We have another minimum here, which is uh, lower than this one. But the problem is even this one, it may not be the global minimum that we are trying to find out. But if our function is a convex function, so this is an example of convex function. When we say convex, we see convexity everywhere. If you go back to this previous function, we see that this part is convex. However, this part is not convex. Actually, it's concave. Here we have convex or convexity, and this part is also convex. But if you look at this function, we see convexity everywhere. So this function is called convex function. And when we have a convex function, if we find a local minimum, which is this one, using gradient descent method, then we can say this is also the global minimum. This is called convex optimization. Even if your function is not exactly parabola like this, as long as it's convex everywhere, you can use gradient descent method to, to find out the minimum, which is here in this case. So as long as your function is convex, you can use gradient descent method to find out the optimal x value. If you want to know more, please visit this online course taught by Professor Stephen Boyd at Stanford.